As promised, guys, I am back for a part two of this items I've used up for the month-ish video. We're just going to get started because there's still a lot to deal with here. Hi, Desi. I know. My baby girl's still sitting here. Next, I used... It was a sample that I got. Do you want to smell? Come on, Desi. Oh, oh, oh. No. Okay, baby. This is called Maypole. It's one of their new soaps. Now, what I liked about it is that it reminded me of the salted peppermint scrub that they had from the Christmas line. So I got excited with this. It smells great. I do not like how it lathered. I didn't feel like I was getting um, a good clean with this. There's very few soaps from the Lush line that I do feel that way about, that I absolutely love and I can't live without. Most of the soaps that I liked have been discontinued, unfortunately. I loved Vanilla Fields. Okay, what was the name of the other one that I couldn't live without? Oh my gosh, it was the one with like the pumice in it. It was so good. Oh my goodness. It came in like a weird container. That soap was absolutely amazing. I can't remember the name of it now. It was like mud something, mud flap soap, I think is what it was called. I loved it. But I'm very picky over their soaps. I know that there's not a lot of actual soap in them, and that's not bad, but I do use soaps that don't have a lot in there. And it still gives you a decent lather. This I didn't get a good lather with, so therefore I didn't feel clean when I used it. Like, I gotta be able to feel clean. And I sometimes don't get that with these soaps. I don't feel like I'm washing off. You know what I'm saying? So, it does smell wonderful. I love the way it smells like that nice creamy peppermint, but I just didn't feel like I was getting, you know, like I was washing myself. I didn't like that. Next, I used up this package of Equate Exfoliating Wet Towelettes. I have found something I like better now, which is hard to believe. But uh, these are a, a nice, quick, easy, take your makeup off. I found something that works better. I'm sure you'll be seeing videos on that soon. But these aren't bad. I like using them just like freshen up as well, just to, like feel um, refreshed, especially in the heat. But they're not bad for the buck. You get two of these for like six bucks. There's 60 towelettes in a item. What are you doing, dog? What are you trying to do? I see you're trying to get yourself into trouble. My dog's a nutcase. But these are not bad for the money. I mean, if I don't know what to get, I will pick those up. But I, I found something I like even better now. Next, this was called Frozen from Lush. This was amazing, guys. I've already purchased another one. It had glitter like you wouldn't believe. Absolutely beautiful. And it's got like a nice citrusy scent to it. Really, really love it. Des, I don't like you going that close to the lighting. What is she doing? Desi, get over here. Come on. I don't know what she's looking for. It's not like her. You're looking to get into trouble, and I know it. Sorry about that, guys. But this has a beautiful citrus scent. Strongly recommend, especially if you love glitter. This thing is chock full of it. And it takes a long time for this bath bomb to dissolve. So that's also very nice. So frozen. Go and check it out. Very good. What are you doing? You're getting nose prints on my mirror. You're just looking to get in trouble. You can come up in my lap again if you want. Come here. I don't mind. Come here, baby. Come here, little girl. There you go. Here's the troublemaker again. Looking to get into some trouble. Are you going to get into some trouble? I don't know what you're trying to do, but I see you nosing around. Okay, stay. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> yeah, you're my baby. Good girl, boo boy. Okay, so this is Mango Dragon Fruit. I had this one in the bathroom, and anybody who came over that used it absolutely loved it. It's golden mango, lush pink, dragon fruit, and sugar cane. This is like how I picture Caribbean islands to smell. It's got a very nice scent. Uh, like you could drink it. It smells like an alcoholic beverage. Really, really yummy. I wish I would have gotten more of this particular scent. If I, next time I go out to Bath and Body Works, they still have this line. I'm picking up more of these. These are really good. And I might actually pick some up for my friend. It's, it may sound weird, but I really like uh, when I give gifts, giving things like 
soaps and stuff like that, like that, like hand soaps. You can never have too many hand soaps. I mean, you can get somebody a piece of jewelry and, and not be something that they like. But if you get like hand soaps and stuff like that, they're going to use it. Whether they use it themselves or they just have it in like the guest bathroom. You know, I think it's a fun thing to do. That's one of my favorite like extras that I'll add to a present is a, a lotion, something like that. I just think it's fun to get little extras like that. That's just me though. I do have another soap. This one I loved. Um, this is from the like Christmas line. I got this at the holiday um, semi-annual sale. This is lemon meringue cheer. It is just like sugary lemon. It's almost like lemon cello but a little bit more powdered sugar. Oh, so yummy. I like citrusy scents. This one I kept in the kitchen because I just feel like hand soaps in the kitchen should kind of have a lemon scent. Um, right now I have Honolulu Sun in there, but that's, if I'm not using one of those tropical ones, I'll end up using a lemony one over there. That one's really good. Next, yes, Desi, I love you very much. Kisses. I used up this one Joey had gotten me for Christmas either last year or the year before. I do not remember. This is the Winter Candy Apple. This is a great scent. It's very similar to Country Apple. It's got a lot of warmth to it and it just reminds me of the holidays. Just a wonderful thing. Red Apple, Winter Rose Petals, Candied Orange, Maple Leaf, and Fresh Cinnamon. It's a very nice warm apple scent which I like. Although I was starting to get sick of it because it took me a while to use this up, but now that it's done, it's like, okay, so I can take a break from now and come back to it. This is one of my favorite scents from the winter line, Twisted Peppermint being number one, but this is still pretty, um, this is like number two, and then Vanilla Bean Noel. Although I have a Sugar Plum one that I haven't tried yet. I have to get into that next. Next, I have two soaps from hotel that I got I got them last year I got a face and body bar and then this is just a regular bar beach mist it reminds me a vacation obviously because that's where they came from they came from the hotel that Joe and I always stay at and they're really creamy I mean they're good one of these is good for like two showers so that's you know like two days worth I normally shower twice a day, especially in the summertime. It's just, you have to do it. But this is just, they're nice. They're just fresh. They're easy to pick up, you know, because I have a few of them in my little, like, um, drawer there. Instead of using a big bar, it's just, they're, they're good. I like them. They smell really good. These are awesome. And I always grab because I mean, like, they're in your room. I'm not just going to leave them there. So I just take them with me, the ones I don't use. Right, Des? Dog's like, I don't know. I don't like bath time. There's only five more products, so I'm going to try to squeeze that into this video. Next, I have this Mr. Hedgehog Orchard Apple Antibacterial Hand Gel. This is one of the older packages. Okay, I'll, I'll put you down. Okay, okay, okay. All right, Moody. Okay. So, this is the um, one of the old-fashioned packages. I love the little hedgehog on there. I have a few more of the old-fashioned packages before I switch over to the new, and then I'll have to get rid of my pack back holders. This one is more of a green apple scent. Green apple's not my favorite, typically. It's still apple, though, so not bad. Used it up. Uh, honestly, originally, I had bought it because of the hedgehog on it, because I thought he was cute. Next is my Lush Tea Tree Toner. This stuff is absolutely amazing. I'm not sure if these packages can be recycled. It doesn't say that you can bring them back. They should, though. Hmm. Huh. I may bring it back just to, even though, even if I don't get a free face mask out of it, I might just bring it back just to recycle it. The tea tree toner, I, I purchased this a million times over. It's my staple. I use it every morning. It's just wonderful. You have the tea tree water in there. You have juniper berries. Another thing that I absolutely love a tea tree, grape, uh, astragina, I, I pronounced that, I butchered it, a uh, grapefruit, balancing juniper berry, keeps disasters at bay, 
beneficial for anyone with oily skin. I have combination skin. Here I get really oily. And this stuff is a lifesaver. I've been using tea tree oil in general since I was a teenager. And it does make a difference if you are prone to breakouts. When I don't use something with tea tree in it, my skin just goes amok. This is definitely something I recommend any girl who has problem with pimples. If you are a teenager and you're getting into that stage where it's like, oh my god, what am I going to do? Girls, trust me, try tea tree oil. Even if you don't use the Lush toner, go to the health food stores and they have tons of um, tea tree products. There was one that I used to use. I do not remember the name of the brand, but it came in like a little rollerball like some of the perfumes do. And you would just put that on your face. Every time I use that, I never had to worry. If I had a pimple, it was gone within two days. This stuff is great, guys. So definitely a recommendation for girls with skin issues. Trust me, you will thank me later. Next. This one's okay. I'm going to go back to the manga. I'm using a different one right now. I'm using Maybelline Lash Sensational. It's not bad, but it's not the manga. So manga's got me. She's got me. This is the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Endless. Again, not a bad mascara for the price. It's got a decent wand. It's not my favorite. If they were absolutely out of manga wherever I was and I really needed a mascara, I would pick this one up. But in comparison, manga is so much better, guys. Go with the manga. There's a reason why so many girls on YouTube love it so much because it is amazing. It is one of the best. However, girls, if you have found one that you like better than mango or whatever, comment down below. Let me know what your mascara must-have is, because I would love to try it out and see if it beats the mango. Anyway, guys, two more items, and we are on our way out of here. So the first one here, and you guys I know I have used this for so long. This is the Pure Silk. It is like, it's a shave cream, not a gel. I like creams better. Uh, this is made by Barbasol. However, I have switched over to actual Barbasol, the men's version, because it's less money and you get more product. True, it doesn't have the scents that the female ones have, but, I mean, I shave before I finish showering, so it's not like I'm going to smell like a man afterwards. And I want to get more bang for my buck. There's something called the Pink Tax. I'm sure you've heard me mention it before, about how products aimed towards women are normally priced higher and they um, normally get less product. So certain things I've switched over to men products, and the, sh the shave cream has been one of them. Just because why should I pay? I mean, it's still about $2, but I'm saving like literally 50 cents a bottle with the Barbasol, and I'm getting more product. I may do a video on that, just because it was brought to my attention by somebody. I'm like, I never really thought about that. Just comparison like equal products. Uh, it's really kind of crazy. I'm not going to get into that too much, but this product is a great product. As I throw it across the room, it is a great product. I like these way better than any shave gel. I like creams better. I think you get a better shave. I think you have less nicks with a cream. Um, like I said, I just switched over to Barbasol, which makes the Pure Silk line. It's, it says right here on the bottom, it is made by Barbasol. I do like the Barbasol company. They just make a great product. Last but certainly not least, I actually got this for a steal at the last semi-annual sale that they had during Christmas. I think I paid $12 for this bottle of perfume, and I finally killed it. This was the Victoria's Secrets Very Sexy Now. Um, it is a teal-ish bottle. I know you really can't tell. Well, you can kind of tell with the lid. Uh, this is the first one that came out. Uh, there was three new ones that came out this year, but I believe this is one of the ones that started it all. Very nice tropically scent. There's a like navy blue bottle out now. It smells like coconut. It's amazing. But this one has like a sandalwoody. I can't pick up the other scent. Oh. But this was very nice. I use this for work every day. Again, I did get a lot of compliments on it. I get more on the coconut version of this. But the bottle is super cute. I paid $11 for it. I couldn't turn it away for that price. I like how it's got this orange um, detail. It really pops out against that deep teal color. This was great. I really did enjoy it. This little bottle lasted me a very long time. I, I used it every day for six months. That's insane. I have a friend of mine um, got me the one for 
my birthday, the coconut one that I, oh, I'm so excited that she got it for me. And it's the bigger one, the, the full size, I guess to say. That's going to last me probably the rest of my life. Uh, but yeah, this little guy lasted me six months. And that was like using it every morning. Occasionally I would use it twice a day if I was going back out. So I was really impressed with this. And Victoria's Secrets, I feel their perfumes do last a long period of time. I do like the Bombshell Body Spray. That, that actually lasts a long period of time. I don't have the perfume, I just have the body sprays and that, and it, it's crazy how long those last. However, try this out. This is really good. Coconut one is better, but this was really good, especially for the price. And that was the last of the items I've used up for the month-ish video. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be filming more again later today. I'm going to be doing an outfit of the day, of course. And um, I'm working on some other ones. You guys have asked to see a get ready with me video. I will, I want to do a few because I do a few different looks and I think that would be fun, especially since it's been asked. I also want to do like a question answer type video as well. And you guys have responded very well to the blind pack um, unboxing videos. And I will be doing a giveaway soon. So there's a lot of videos that I'm working on currently and sketching out like basic ideas because I was like having them um, right now so I know kind of where I'm going with some of these videos. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Have a great day guys. Bye!